carbon fiber this Luxo lamp that I got off Craigslist and uh, I think the first thing I've got to do is remove the light switch here and then I gotta figure out how to get this grommet out of there so I can paint back in behind there and then I'm just gonna mask off this cord I don't know if this piece here will come out or if I'm just gonna have to kinda edge mask that and make it look as good as I can sorry I'm looking not through the camera here there we go so I'm gonna attempt to keep this white and make all this carbon fiber and then I'll mask kinda underneath the lip there so look at the hardware that was on the inside sorry it was that nut and that plate and a little lock guy that's a 10 millimeter uh, this thing is made in the, or it says printed in the USA on the Luxo label I thought they were made in the USA as well they have a USA address but that's a metric piece and I would bet that this lamp is somewhere on the range of 30 years old uh, so I'm taking this apart here so I can get this out of my way while I paint and it's just basically some electric tape around the transformer and then there's some wire nuts so I'm just going to dismantle that. I've got my red with the uh, white and the black stripe. Black goes to black, white goes to white. Here is our piece that we're going to paint free and clear. There. Let's go take a look at the rattle cans. Just cheapo rattle can, sorry. I just didn't have a uh, real base coat or anything, so I used this stuff that I found at Lowe's, Valspar, and uh, just spray paint. <laughs> Looks like great stuff, doesn't it? And so I got gold and black, and uh, I just kept going over it. I did it in three pieces. I put one piece on the top. I had to cut a piece angled to do this cone and put it on and then I cut this piece and put a big X in the middle of it and then stretched the crap out of it so that it would come over the edges and make it look like it's real you know one piece of carbon fiber stretched around and I screwed it up a few times and all I did was just paint black over the screw up and lay something down I mean you can see right there it's kinda of fogged in twice but it's okay <laughs> this is just kind of a fun little little deal I can put on my desk and uh, so I just fogged it in black where I screwed it up and then went right back over the top of it just laid the mat on and let her rip man no no big deal so uh, probably took me 15 20 minutes to get it you know as close as it is there uh, I had to redo some of these edges a little bit looks like that's a little strong right there so I'll probably put a little black on it I didn't don't have a spray gun you know kind of paint so I couldn't over reduce it so I just held the spray can way back and just let it go so I uh, will clear it and see what it looks like here is the finished painted product <laughs> came out pretty good for just spending a little bit of time on it and just hacking away uh, I'll get it mounted up to the lamp and we'll take a last look last a little sketchy here and there but man the clear coat came out good I touched it a little too early but we're gonna buff this thing so I had a couple drips right in there so we're color sanding those out I'm using some 400 grit right now I've got some 1500 here and some 2000 we're gonna do this wet and then we're gonna buff it real quick that's probably a, too much work to put into a lamp like this but ah hey why not right well I started working on this with a razor blade and some 400 you can see we had a couple little drips there you can also see some imperfections in the finish some just trash and that happens when you spray in your garage you know this stuff uh, stays sticky for probably I'm gonna say six hours it may not be quite that long but you just get little little things in there but not to worry we can we can remove all of that I've got a uh, motor guard soft hard block is actually called soft block but the black is harder than the gray and we got some 400 wet dry and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it like this around my hard block and I'm gonna dunk it in the water there a little bit so we're gonna get it wet and we're gonna work just right here on the drips and with the 1500 I'm gonna go around uh, just all the flat surfaces here and any big bugs or hairs or whatever fell into this and I'm using my thumb as a guide I don't want to get in this little recess uh, right here because I can't really get my buffer in there very easily 
Yeah, I know color sanding and buffing a uh, lampshade is probably off the charts for most people, but uh, I figure we take this little project as far as we can. Here is an example of what we're after here. It's just a little piece of trash in the clear coat. You can see how it's high. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for, just trying to do this quick sand here. So uh, looks relatively good everywhere else. I see one here. It looked like there was maybe one or two other little ones. So this is what we do. Uh, where'd you go, buddy? Took my eye off of it for half a second. There he is, right there. Right there. So we're just going to take our block, concentrate right there for a minute, and we're going to feel it. Feel just a little bit. Uh, it feels like it's gone. Oh, nope, still just a little bit right there. I can see it. Again, we're 1500 on the hard side of the block here. I'm going to say that. Got it, guys. I'll dry it off. Got rid of all the major blemishes. You can see where the drips were here. Uh, I got most of that taken care of. Again, this is just a fun little project. So I'm going to spot these in real quick with some black before I polish it. And then uh, we'll polish this top side and be done with it. Yeah.